Hello, and this is Tina. Welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today, I'm going to be showing you the inside of the King's Kingfisher History Encyclopedia. Now, I decided to show you the inside of the encyclopedia because this is the, the encyclopedia that I actually use a whole lot with my Story of the World um, curriculum, along with Thinking Tree. So I combine this and thinking tree journals along with story of the world for my history. But the unique thing about this particular edition, um, encyclopedia rather, is that um, there are a whole lot out there. This is one of the older versions. They do have a more up-to-date one, but I prefer this one. And story of the world actually recommends this particular um, encyclopedia to go with their curriculum. So what I'm going to do is actually show you the inside of it. And I bought this used, so I think I spent maybe $10 for it. And that's another reason why I like what they call out of adoption books, which just basically mean they updated it some. And so they put a new version on it or sometimes they change the cover. But usually the content of the book is kind of relatively the same except for a couple of updates that they make, but I can update myself. Um, so that's why I like to buy used and you can get things for super duper cheap when you buy the out of adoption books rather than and add your information to it as history changes than going out and buying the brand new um, revised version, which would be higher. But it goes through, the reason why I like this one in particular because of all the vivid pictures and how the font is bigger. So if you have a child or you yourself prefer bigger font when you're reading than the small print, well, this is going to be a great book for you. And also, I love how at the top of the um, pages, it has the literal timeline. So your child can actually copy it or it shows like the period that this happened in. So the red mark or the red line highlights the period that you're working in at that point. And so I use to tie this in with, like I said, my story of the world and my thinking tree timeline to history. So as you can see, it usually have like maps. So you're going to be hitting geography when you're doing this because you're going to see the map. And my son absolutely loves making maps. You have pictures. You have small tidbits of information. It's not overdone. So it's enough information that the child can get some understanding on what happened during that particular time period. But it's not so overdone that if you have a child that gets overwhelmed with a lot of reading, it's not too overdone. But it's done in such a way that you can actually build on this information relatively easy. Really, really easy. Easy to build on. And I... I would do like lap books and different stuff like that with it too, just to make a hands-on activity. So as you can see, the pictures just pop out to you. And that's one of the main reasons why I just love this book for that particular reason. It's not overdone. It's a lot of pictures. The font is big and it was cheap. <laughs> so if you was um, wondering, cause I'm not too sure whether or not this book is being shown on YouTube as far as the inside contents of the book. I know people refer to it, but I'm not too sure whether or not you can actually see the inside. So I'm just going to let you see a little bit of the inside so you can get an idea. And for those of you who are studying about World War I, you see the pictures in a little bit and you can easily do research on it. So that's pretty much the inside contents of this book. So if you really want to get this book, I purchased this book from Amazon used for maybe six, seven, eight dollars. I can't remember exactly, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, and so I just want to show you guys the inside and let you see how it looks. And I hope this helped if you're actually looking for Matter of fact, no, I spent $5. Goodwill. <laughs> so I was wrong. I spent $5. $4.99. So if you're actually looking for a good history encyclopedia, 
that would be good for all ages, whether they're in the lower elementary or um, upper middle school or high school. This, in my opinion, is an encyclopedia that will fit all ages because if they're younger, it's just enough. If they're in the middle, it's okay. And if they're in high school, I like it because you can um, build on it. So, or you can keep it the same. It just depends on you and your child. So again, this is Cena from Lakeshore Academy. Have a great day.